In this video we'll briefly discuss what is propranolol, how it works, what it's used for, the dose and side effects, contraindications and precautions. Propranolol is a beta-adrenergic blocker. It blocks beta receptors, primarily affecting the cardiovascular system. It decreases heart rate, cardiac contractility and blood pressure. And also affects the lungs and promotes bronchospasm. It is available as 10 mg, 20, 40, 80 and 160 mg tablets. And also available as injection. Propranolol is used in the treatment of hypertension, angina pectoris, hypertrophic subaortic stenosis, pheochromocytoma, arrhythmias, myocardial infarction prophylaxis and migraine prophylaxis. The usual initial dosage for hypertension, for adults is 40 mg twice a day, or 80 mg of sustained release formulation once daily. And the maintenance dose ranges from 120 to 240 mg per day, in 2 to 3 divided doses, or 120 to 160 mg per day sustained release formulation. And the maximum dose is 640 mg per day. The usual dose for angina for adults is 80 to 320 mg per day, in 2 to 4 divided doses, or 160 mg per day of sustained release medication. For arrhythmias, the usual dose is 10 to 30 mg 3 to 4 times per day, before meals and at bedtime. And for hypertrophic subaortic stenosis, the usual dose is 20 to 40 mg 3 to 4 times per day before meals and at bedtime, or 80 to 160 mg sustained release medication one time per day. For myocardial infarction prophylaxis, the usual dose is 180 to 240 mg per day, in 3 to 4 divided doses. And for pheochromocytoma, the dose is 60 mg per day, for 3 days prior to surgery, given with alpha blocker. The initial dose for migraine is 80 mg sustained release preparation, given once daily. And the maintenance dose is 160 to 240 mg per day, in divided doses. Propranolol is contraindicated in case of cardiogenic shock, asthma, congestive heart failure, unless it is secondary to tachyarrhythmia treated with a beta blocker. Sinus bradycardia and AV block greater than first degree severe chronic obstructive pulmonary disease common adverse effects include fatigue headache and impotence and serious adverse effects include symptomatic bradycardia decreased cardiac output congestive heart failure pulmonary edema worsened av block depression hallucinations arterial thrombosis bone marrow depression and lupus like condition Patients should avoid driving and other activities requiring mental alertness, or that are potentially dangerous, until response to drug is known. Use with caution in patients with diabetes, kidney or liver disease, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, and peripheral vascular disease. Do not stop drug abruptly, as this may precipitate arrhythmias, angina, myocardial infarction or cause rebound hypertension. If necessary to discontinue, taper as follows. Reduce dose and reassess after 1 to 2 weeks. If status is unchanged, reduce by another 50% and reassess after 1 to 2 weeks. Drug may mask the symptoms of hyperthyroidism, mainly tachycardia. Drug may exacerbate symptoms of arterial insufficiency in patients with peripheral or mesenteric vascular disease. That's all for this video. Subscribe and click on the bell icon for more videos like this one.